Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Perla. So what is an inch bag? An inch bag literally is just an acronym. So it stands for I'm never coming home. You should be able to live out of this bag for a while. So I originally had created this bag for my partner before they passed away. And I ended up, you know, keeping it because I just, I couldn't get rid of it. And so now I have it as my inch bag. So today we're gonna take a tour of it and I'm gonna show you the items that I have in there in order to sustain myself for a longer period of time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a tour of my inch bag. So as you can see, it is fully stocked and it had babies. <laughs> No, but um, it is very packed. Before I do that, I do want to show you the jacket that I actually, I really love this jacket. Um, it is a part of my inch kit, but um, this is the jacket that I chose for my outer shell. Now I could have it, you know, in the shove it pouch when I'm not using it, but I do love this jacket and I use it often, um, but it always goes back with the bag. I really love because it's a little thicker, but it's also lightweight. It keeps me very warm and it has a few pockets on it and then even some zippers. So, you know, just a few places to put your EDC stuff. So I like that. Now this is my IFAC. And if you haven't seen my IFAC video, check it out. It is fully stocked, has all the goodies in it. Check the video out if you want to know what's inside. But this is my um, personal IFAC. And this is going to be attached to my hip. It is not going to be attached. It is not going to be in the bag. So that is some weight that I've saved there because I believe that's like four, four pounds. <laughs> that's a four pound little first aid kit. <laughs> so there ain't nothing little about it. <laughs> but, um, this one, uh, this pouch I got separately, um, for my, Pathfinder Canteen. I really love the bag. I really love the bag. It goes perfectly with the 511 <laughs> camo bag. And this is the Condor Ripaway Medical Pouch. So we have three different brands here and they all like, they're all pretty similar in color, right? So on this bag, I do have this strap here on it because I don't want to have it in the bag. I'm going to carry it on myself. I'm just going to throw the strap on and, you know, have my, have my water on me. In here, I have my whole cooking system. And this is the Pathfinder Canteen. I showed it to you guys in my bug out bag video. I, of course, bought this um, for this pack as well. Now this is a very cool, nifty little cooking system. Uh, you can use the cup, of course, to eat out of coffee, food, whatever. It does come with its own little lid, which is also in the pack here. It just, you know, perfectly boil your water on the mini stove there. And I mean, what else do you need? You got a little lid with it. There you go. This little system is awesome. I freaking love it so much. And this carries over a liter of water. Now here's my stainless steel spork. I really love that. I use this as my regular sp spoon and fork. They're very thick. I just freaking love it. And here I have my ferro rod, of course, for cooking and fire making, along with some aqua tabs. And a lighter. So two forms of starting fire right in here. And I also have an emergency can opener in that bag. And in here I also have a dump pouch. Which I actually um, repurposed from a sheet set. You know this is just like the outer cover. Now I'm just going to kind of you know use it as my shove it pouch if I want to. If I'm walking you know and I see something that I want to take with me. And maybe just attach it to the pack I can. Now this is of course some Carmex because your lips get dry. And besides the small carabiner here, I have some nails, and these are pretty heavy duty. Um, and I just have them wrapped in some medical tape. Now this is also meant to be a bug out bag that 
honestly holds you over for like two weeks. Um, but I do have these here. I think people underestimate the need for these. <laughs> These can be useful in many different situations. You know, I just keep it right in here and it kind of just stays. So that's kind of cool. It doesn't go through. And in the back of here, I keep my bug spray because I wanted to keep it accessible, you know, just in case. And I didn't want to, if I was moving and I don't want to stop and just keep it accessible and use it. I have it right here. Um, I, I haven't found another better place to put it yet. So um, for now it's here and I know, you know, next to the cooking system may not be a, the best place. However, um, I only use it, you know, away from the, the bag. But that's actually all that's in here besides this clip that's down here that I have that is actually an extra to this um, rifle sling. But I'm using it, um, like I said, I repurpose things all the time and I have this you know if one of these for some reason i lose it there was an extra so why not have it just tossed it right in there at the bottom and in the back here it actually has like a velcro opening so i actually really love that you can go from underneath but it also keeps items secure within this little back now i think this was the space for the lid however i put it on the inside and in here i actually have a bar of soap now this is a full-size bar of soap in there like i said this is more of a long-term bag and i thought that this would be a good place to put the soap to wash your hands before you cook i mean i'm just saying right <laughs> all right so let's move on to the bag Let's start with the small pouch first so that <laughs> we can get it out of the way. Uh, here I just have a cord for uh, to charge my devices and I have its um, little wall charger here and it's pretty used but functional. And this is just my sewing kit. I have one of these in my bug out bag as well. Um, and it's just a few needles of different sizes there and some pins and some fishy line there for more sturdy stitch in case I had to like, you know, fix the bag or something like, or my tarp. This is the charger to my through night headlamp um, batteries. So this will recharge the batteries off of the solar charger I have, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is also a good ba um, a good battery port. All right, in that pocket, all I have left here is some 3M earplugs. If I can get it open. <laughs> okay, and so yeah, that's just some regular ass earplugs, guys. I'm not fancy like you guys with all those like earmuffs and stuff. And in here, I also have some eye protection. Ah! <laughs> I always have that issue. Um, <laughs> some eye protection, and um, it's still in the bag just because it's brand new, and it's still in the fucking bag. And here, I just have like a, a dust mask. Um, there's a lot of fires in California. No need to explain why we have dust masks, right? You definitely want clean air. It's one of the most important things. Duh. Here, clearly, I have some flushable wet wipes. Here, I just have some spare medication. This is about, this is two weeks worth of medication for me. And here, I also have some multivitamins. So, I carry both of those. And of course, you have to take care of your feet, guys. Definitely a must. Toenail paper. And here we just have a comb and some Q-tips and a couple of hair ties. Some toothpaste. Gotta wash your grill. <laughs> and some Carmex because, you know, you don't want those dry chapped lips. And of course, a toothbrush is travel. And this is like the tiniest deodorant I have ever seen, I think. <laughs> it's one ounce. No, 0.5 ounce. This was just in there because it was super light. And I'm like, let me just toss it in. I have one of these in my bug out bag too. And also some dental floss. This is the charger to my bail thing to a radio. Now this is actually for the wall. I actually got the USB adapter for it. So that was freaking awesome. So this is actually really great. I love that it's the USB adapter. So I don't have to put it into the wall. I could literally just charge it off of my solar or my hand crank radio.
And speaking of solar, I have this solar charger, which I use very frequently and I love. I have another one of these. I actually have three solar chargers in total. <laughs> yeah. Hey, three is two, two is one, one is none. But this is great because it has a little compass. It's going to charge my devices and it also has a light. So it's multi-purpose. I'll put the link down in the description um, to some of these things I got, you know, that, that I have the links to. Now this one's all covered up because, <laughs> because I wanted to protect it from water. Um, I actually took this bag to Vegas, <laughs> but this is, you know, one of my radios. Each of my family has one of these in their bags. I just have it in there for waterproofing. It is actually water resistant, they say. I don't know how waterproof it is, um, but just in case, you know. Ooh, shit, who cares about water? I'm about to break it. <laughs> All right, in here, oh my God, it's all bent now. <laughs> hey, it's used, okay, it's used. Um, this is my SAS survival guide, of course. This is a must have in every single bag. And I also have it downloaded onto my phone with the app. So I think I'm covered. And this is my CC4 whetstone. Sharpened knives, all of the pointy stuff. And here I have binoculars. Um, like I said, not very fancy. Uh, they work. Now here, of course, it's just a right in the rain notebook. Along with a pen. Let me just make sure there's nothing I'm missing in here. I don't think there is actually, though. No, I am. I am missing um, the battery, this is the battery to the Motorola radio, and that's rechargeable, which I love, along with its headset. So, you know, if you need to keep things discreet, very good to have, and it just came with it, so why not have it? All right, now that is it. There. And here I have my compass. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I freaking love this thing. I actually had this in my um, car kit. It has a neck lanyard, so I, I'm most likely just going to have it on me. Here I have um, everything waterproofed from my copies of my IDs, my dog's, you know, vaccines, all the important paperwork that you may require wherever you're headed. It's always good to have copies and digital copies. And here, <laughs> it's just, I honestly don't even really ever use this pen, um, which is why I have so much tape wrapped around it, but I have both, but you know. So you're covered on all bases for the electrical stuff and for the duct stuff. <laughs> here I have a couple of maps. And in the back, I just toss in some written in emergency phone numbers into that little baggie there so it has a bunch of states on it just basics so i'm glad i have that and this is an actual more thorough california map so these are both that that one is not waterproof this one is but I, you know i got it because that one was actually very cheap too And here in the last pocket, I have my reusable pads. Now, these are washable, reusable. They're brand new right now in the pouch bag. I also have these in my bug out bag, and I have these at home. So, I mean, these are just good to have around. You can just reuse them. Tampons can only, you know, be used once. So, why not get something that's a little more reusable, rewashable? This. This is a must have. I actually have some, a little bit of laundry soap for that. <laughs> so people are like, why do you have laundry soap? Because girl, I gotta wash those. <laughs> um, I actually do um, like to keep this. This was a hand sanitizer bottle that I got at work. Used it up, refilled it with um, detergent. So 
I have that. Not just to wash those, but also to wash socks and, you know, your underwear. Duh. And in here, I also just have some, um, femme wash, which is just like some summer sieve, um, femme soap. And I have two bidet adapters. I have in my bug out bag as well. These are awesome. You can use them long term. You can attach it to any Coke bottle, any, any bottle you find. So that's pretty cool. And that is all that is here. And on the side pouch, I have my snug pack poncho. It is pretty cool. I used it a couple of times with my when I was on my bicycle. I freaking love this little poncho. So I have it here. And here I also have my through night headlamp, you know, for quick access. And it already has a battery in there. And I have a spare, of course, in the charger I showed you earlier. And this can also, of course, be used to dig around your fire site. Um, you know, either to keep the flames down or, you know, just to keep the wind, you know, from blocking just anything. You can pretty much use it. And then also, of course, to hide your flames and all of that good stuff. But if you needed to dig anything, this got you. And here I also have some mechanics gloves. <laughs> And going along with the theme <laughs> of the bag, these are the camo ones, which I thought were pretty badass. So I have the regular mechanics gloves in my other bags. And I also really like these because when I have ride my bike, I mean, when you gotta fix that chain, guys, a black pair of these is a lifesaver. <laughs> And here I have just like a Stanley multi-tool, just with the basics, everything from basics that multi-tools have, right? And over here I have my, my cleaners, my adapters to the barrels, some Q-tips and some wipes in case I needed a clean. This is some Hoppies cleaner, so... And this, of course, is just some lube for the pistol. And that is all that's in this side. If you've seen my bug out bag video, you know that in this pocket is actually where I keep most of my food and all that stuff, which I do have in here, but I don't have as many crackers as that one. This one is just a little bit um, just on hand. And of course, I have a couple of protein bars with like 20 grams of protein and like, how much one is, <laughs> it's all smushed. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> it's going to taste the same, right? <laughs> as long as it's not busted open, it's all good. Now, this is of course a fire kit and, and waterproof matches in the little case, some wet fire tabs. And here I have a couple of Vaseline coated cotton balls. Now this is a great fire starter, of course, but I, as you can see, I put like a lot of extra Vaseline in there because you can also use it as like a moisturizer. Hello. <laughs> so why not put a little extra? You don't have to carry lotion. You can just carry this on yourself. If you know, if you need to moisturize, you have a little bit of something to do. To use you know so that's why I have a lot of Vaseline in there so just a thought guys you know and in here I also have some Gorilla Glue because <laughs> can't go wrong with that and here I have my hand crank and solar radio and what is on it I don't know I took I take this bag out camping guys this is like my camping bag too it's like a longer term bag um, so I actually took this bag to Vegas <laughs> this weekend. I'll, I'll tell you guys about it. Um, I went to Vegas last weekend. It is hot as fuck, like hot, <sighs> but it's so nice. And I had an incident where I had, I had, my room had flooded. It was just a mess and I hadn't even packed. So I was supposed to leave for Vegas right now and, uh, <laughs> My whole room is flooded. Yeah, it's flooded with a um, whole shitload of water from the washer. Yeah. So I literally just added a couple of bathing suits, another pair of jeans, and a couple of shorts in here. And this is what I took. <laughs> 
to Vegas. This is the Seven Mountains, but they're painting it right now, so we weren't able to like go up close. So we'll be back on the way back from Vegas if we're not too hungover. Now, if you can survive Vegas with this bag, you can survive anywhere. No. <laughs> is my bail thing radio this is the uv5r it's fully charged right now but as i showed you i do have the charger along with that battery i do have the antenna for it this is a small antenna i did purchase a larger antenna um but i have it in my faraday cage so um we'll get to that another video another time and for my water filter, I just have this life straw that I will re be replacing eventually, but it's this is functional for now. I like the fact that, you know, you can literally just drink water from anywhere. But I do think it's a little bulky. I just um, want something smaller, so I'm going to switch to the Sawyer Mini. Um, so I'll be buying that soon, and then I will throw this in, like, my earthquake kit. I can, you know, have this as a backup and, you know, put it in a different kit. And here I have a survival filter, collapsible canteen. I don't have the filter. I just have the canteen because I really liked it. Um, and it came in a pair, so I got this. This is good to use with my bidet adapter. Um, so I'll have water in here. And this is also going to be useful for any dirty water that I have to you know gather in a stream or whatever that I don't want to put into my canteen so that's what this is for and in here I have two more clips for my nine and here I also have some more aqua tabs and <laughs> some more aqua tabs this is definitely stocked up and in here I actually do have my four-way silk cocky. I removed it out of my bug out bag, but I put one in here and I also used it clearly as a spool for my fishing line. So I, it's multi-purpose multi for me. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is a more long-term bag, so <laughs> it's pretty stocked. First, I'm gonna start with my sleeping system, which is a Snug Pack Nautilus, and it weighs about three pounds. And I also have my Climate Static V. This is in the Real Tree Camo. Really, it's, you know, I laid on it a few times already. It's it's not bad, but I just don't know how how long it'll last. We'll put it to the test, guys. <laughs> And here I also have my Baco Laplander saw. And so this is, this one's already started to get all scratched up already, even though they were fairly new. Um, but I really love this knife. It's sturdy as hell. I mean, can't go wrong with K-Bar. And also as part of my sleeping system here, I have my all-weather tarp shelter in here and of course it comes with a few stakes and this is made by snug pack yeah so it's the snug pack all weather shelter and with it i have a of course a spool of paracord to set it up and just to have extra paracord because it actually comes with its own already you don't actually need the paracord to set it up but Pair cords can always be used. And so then there's the actual tarp in there. It's it's very nice and very durable. I really like it. And since this is more of a long-term bag, I do have one set of jeans in here. And of course, I'll hope that I'm wearing some jeans when I leave. <laughs> 
another pair of pants, but I have the belt already on it. I could literally like, if there's an earthquake, could literally get up and throw these pants on and, and clip my medical pouch onto this and go. <laughs> and I also have a shirt there if I need that. If I'm leaving in, the, you know, in a hurry and I need to throw it on for some reason. But here I have a shamak. I like the color because it's uh, usable, like I said, once again, in the urban environment. <laughs> and rural so you can definitely blend with these i like that about um keeping you know a lot of earth tones and those kind of things because you can blend in the earth tones better than you can any loud bright colors and this is my snuck pack dry bag and this is the extra large in size just in case you guys are wondering and it actually fits a lot of items in there as you can see and it's also big enough to throw um, any dirty laundry that I need to throw in there that I still want to keep dry I'll just toss it in like you know another bag like a, a plastic bag so it doesn't get mixed up with my clean clothes but this is a beanie that is a reversible black and camo so you could wear it either way I have a couple of sports bras here fell out when I pulled it out of the bag but these are some wool socks here so in total I have three pairs of socks in here I have a tank top I have three sets of underwear there and here I have a sleeping um or just like a layer long sleeve and these are actually scrubs that I use as pajamas. <laughs> yes, um, I really love these because they are super comfortable and they also have pockets. So even, so if it's like a real bug out scenario or something, you even have pockets in your bed. And that's all I keep for clothes. So it does hold me over and I'm able to rotate them out, you know, for a couple of days. And in here, I do have, of course, all of my food. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm so going to leave this in. <laughs> I'm so not going to cut that out. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> you know, let's work on this one first. How about that? <laughs> this, <laughs> 100 rounds. Can never go wrong. Now... For food, I have a couple of these packs here that are actually two days worth of meals. Well, two comfortable days <laughs> worth of meals for me. And um, I have two of them, so that's four there. I actually have a little more, I think, in here. I may be able to hold myself off a little longer with that. And some of the stuff that's in here, just to add, you know... I have some white rice, some mashed potatoes, some more of those, and I do have <laughs> fancy, right? <laughs> I have the Alfredo broccoli uh, pasta. It's pretty cool. Cooks in seven minutes, guys. You just add water. Can't go wrong with that. And I have some more mashed potatoes. So they're in different flavors. And I have some more tuna. On the back of all of my <laughs> tuna and salmon, I have um, the mayo and mustard servings that I would put into it. Because it's just easier that way. Easier and, you know, cleaner. Less mess, less baggage, less packaging. Um, here are a couple of Jif cups and I do have some jam. Um, so that's why I have the crackers, you know, for this kind of thing, um, for snacking, you know, for lunch, some protein, you know, and of course tuna and, and here I actually have, um, the broccoli rice. I have broccoli rice, a couple of, um, tuna packs there and some spam 
another peanut butter cup with all of this food it would hold me over quite a bit and i also have these survival tabs here it's about two days worth of nutrients and i do carry a couple of extra um mail packs in here just in case And I have some extra salt in this little bottle here. And <laughs> I am always covered with the coffee. Like, I'm not even playing. This is actually cinnamon. Um, but all of these little coffee pouches are all pre-made. Two servings for what I, how I like my coffee. This is two servings for me. So I really like the fact that... They're easy, you know, just to have and toss in some boiling water and ready to go. So that is it on the food, guys. <laughs> it's enough, right? <laughs> it's it's a lot. <laughs> this would prob this is actually a good amount of food to hold me over for two whole weeks. And of course, I mean, hello, you would wanna catch a fish or you know, eat something else, eat something fresh. Hopefully find something along the way wherever you're going. And the most latest addition to my bug out bag is this Altad alcohol stove. So it is all a little system goes together. I bought this separately. It's four ounces of denatured alcohol in here for the stove itself. What I really like about this little stove is it has a flame regulator and um, you can use some of it and of course put it out. You can actually cap it and then just, you know, keep reusing the alcohol until it's gone and just keep it stored in there. So I really like this as a secondary cooking option because I do have my Pathfinder canteen. However, this, you know, would be good for, you know, cooking or boiling a larger amount of water that, you know, um, if you just wanted, you know, something to be, you know, very compact but efficient. This is what I came up with. And the only thing that I have left in here... And the only things I have left in here are my Mount Flow um, microfiber towel. This is pretty awesome. It dries super fast. I have three of these. One Coco and Harley have. One I have in my bug out bag. And this one is in my inch bag. Now this, of course, it's some amoxicillin and ibuprofen. They're brand new. They haven't been opened. I just keep that. Because <laughs> you never know when you're going to need those, right? So, that's all that's in here. In this small pocket up here, I have my Tact Vivi. That is great if, you know, you need to stay warm. And also, it is nice and bright and large. So if you needed to signal anyone or maybe you needed to, like, write out an SOS on a really bright sheet to get noticed, anything, this is a great way to get noticed. And you can get noticed on your own terms. So you can put this out wherever you want to use it. You can also, of course, use it as an emergency blanket when that's what it's intended to be. The only thing that's left in the bag is here in the hydration pouch. And, and here I just have my water bladder. Let me actually drink some of the water out of here the other day. But it usually has a one liter in it just to have and of course um it's pretty nifty because it routes out of the top of the bag um and you just put the hose through but i actually really like the fact that this has this compartment because if you're walking you know you don't really want to stop and drink water you can pretty much drink as you go however you know you can't solely rely on this for for your hydration just because if they it does tend to pop I mean, then what are you going to use? And of course, if you need to boil water, this isn't going to do it for you. So that was my inch bag. Thanks for taking that tour with me, guys. If you have watched my bug out bag tour, you probably noticed that these bags are fairly similar in the items that are in there. And I'm actually really glad 
that it is because of the fact that if I use the inch bag or the bug out bag, both of them are laid out exactly the same. They have almost the exact same items in them and it's laid out the exact same way. So if I were not able to take one bag or the other, either way, I know the backpack through and through. I know where things are. I know, you know, everything is laid out exactly like it is in my bug out bag. They're like twinsies. <laughs> But um, this one is meant to, you know, sustain me for a longer period of time. And so I'm really happy that I was able to, you know, repurpose this bag as a backup. Um, I do, I don't really often talk about like my personal life and stuff, but um, I actually, you know, I'm glad I kept it. I don't want, you know, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I love that bag. I fell in love with that camo bag since I ever, since I first saw it. Kinda like that person. But I um I'm really glad that I kept it because I now have a backup to my system and I know I feel just a little bit more safer, a little bit more comfortable that I have these things in place and these bags are going to be located in different locations. So if I were not able to make it home, you know, I have that second bag to fall back on at a different location. So there is always a pro to, you know, making multiple plans and having multiple kits or caches and we'll go into all of that but thanks so much for tuning in and i actually want to welcome all of the new subscribers thank you so much for all of your support and definitely you know let us know who you are down in the comments because some of you i don't know your names and um, i definitely want to get to know you a little bit better and learn from you as well so i'm so glad you tuned in i'm so glad you're here so please subscribe so i can see you in the next video all right, guys, I'll see you later.